All right, so I have a fun one today. I'm going to try and be creative because I thought about a way of explaining TRFC and TRFI uh, the fun way. And I'm going to use F1 in context because it's been blowing up and uh, I have a few friends that like F1. So this is a fun way of explaining RAM to them, I guess, if they watch this video. Um, so first of all, let me just intro this and say TRFC and TRFI are like probably two of the the most important secondary timings uh like they're two of the most important like timings that you know no one knows <laughs> well none of the normies know or like okay normies rude none of the like you know everyday ram users or pc users know because they never list them on the uh base xmp spec sheet for when you're buying kits and stuff um and usually they're skied really high because uh trfc and trfi can be very uh detrimental to stability and that's kind of uh that's kind of a good way of putting it in context if one as well because let's say let's say you you told your driver okay well you have to put like you have to put like every so often laps the risk of failures or breakdowns is significantly lower because you're you're so with TRFI, when it's lower so meaning the length of time or amount of laps completed would be uh higher if your tier is tier of is higher meaning you can race more without being in the pit meaning you can get more work done if you forced your driver to pit um much more times meaning you have less tier fi because your the the periods between pits is now decreased um you obviously can check his fuel you can check the tires you can check whatever you have to check to make sure the car is not going to break down makes sense uh tier fc um is like okay well let's say you made trfc um let's say you made the the trfc like really low for an xmp well that's like speeding up the crew so let's say you you told the crew hey be as quick as possible now inherently what's going to happen is they're going to be more prone to making mistakes and not doing an ideal job at maintaining the car during the race because you're forcing them to be as fast as possible you're saying get the work done uh, don't like be like don't be as thorough because you don't have time, right? So, for those two reasons, TRFC and TRFI are usually tanked quite bad with DDR DDR uh, XMPs because the the vendor does not want stuff like heat to um. So funny enough, I, I can't really say heat, but more like let's say heat is stress. So let's say heat is just general stress from physics, and let's just say stress can manifest in various ways on both ram chips and f1 cars well if your your car is more stressed if your ram is more stressed so ram stressed by heat the car stressed by yep engine heat i guess um i guess just you know uh wear on the tires whatever whatever stress you want to kind of think about um the more stress the more susceptible to failure and thus you want to make your maintaining um procedures much more uh stringent and kind of you know not skimp out on 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 like thoroughness you know and play the speed so that's kind of exactly how it is the the harder your ram sticks are the higher this should be run and the the lower this should be run because you have to maintain the data integrity so the cells must keep being refreshed if your your heat is too high your cells will will lose data and because you aren't running this high enough and this low enough um you're going to lose data and crash or whatever so now let's look at like this dram frequency will be the start of the fuel tank so so the the higher the DRAM frequency, the more TRFC you need. You need more TRFC. You cannot keep TRFC the same if you're increasing the frequency significantly. You can keep it the same if like the frequency isn't really jumped that much. Um, and every IC has a tolerance. Um, uh, but you need so the tolerance of the IMS, the IC is almost like let's almost say that's like the 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 efficiency of the car. So if the F1 car can can you know utilize its fuel more efficiently, like an IC can utilize. Um, voltage more efficiently well as a result you can run lower trfc at you know higher frequency so um let's say your car your car has a big fuel tank and it needs more fuel to run uh, well if it runs that fuel efficiently if it can if, if the technology and the engine is there to efficiently use the, the, the fuel you can effectively get away with with less fuel and not like break down because you're not putting as much if that makes sense right so okay now let's keep going. Um, the size of the pit crew is the voltage. So as DRAM voltage is increased, you can actually run 
lower tier FC as well. Um, I've seen screenshots of guys doing this kind of tier FC at 7,000. Now, that should logically mean I could run lower than this at 6,400, right? Well, no. I cannot run 400 at 64. It won't work. It'll straight up not train. So, so Voltage does scale tier FC to a degree. Um, but then again, Voltage makes the Ram sticks run harder. So, that's a concession. And... Yeah. So tier EFI is very simply the amount of time, or like I said before, the lapse it takes between between pits. So obviously with DRAM, you want to have it, um, you want to extend the amount of clock cycles between pit stops, i.e. tier EFI refreshes um, of the, the DRAM cells as long as possible because you could do more work before refreshing the memory. Um, and that's pretty basic, I would think. And then car breakdowns is essentially just um, the instability in crashes. So let's say your car runs out of fuel because you're just an idiot and you didn't check the fuel gauge, which would never happen, but yeah, just for argument's sake. Or let's say the car breaks down because um, because your, your crew just wasn't thorough and they didn't check um, other things. They didn't, maybe they didn't, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but uh, yeah, they didn't, you know, check the fuel, um, you know, the, the fuel properly and, and, or maybe they just didn't uh, check the tires or whatever, whatever you want to think about, like, any sort of factor that can cause breakdowns is uh, kind of what happens when TRFC is too low. Um, the speed of the refresh is too low. The work the work that was done was done rushed. As a result, you get less reliability in the car, in the ramstick. Same same idea. It's actually pretty funny how that works almost one-to-one. -one. Um, but it's both just physics, so fuck it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, and funny enough, it does also work like this. So you're going to say, oh, well, Dane, um, the amount of laps and... and Okay, so you're gonna say, Dane, obviously, uh, well, no, you know, not obviously, because I haven't said this yet, but tier if I can actually be increased with the amount of flock cycles. So if your RAM is running at 2000 megahertz, which is not uh, the XMP speed, that's megabits per second. So 2000 megahertz would be a 4000 DDR4 kit, for example. So if you're running at 2000 megahertz or 4000 megahertz, uh, let's say 4000 megahertz is like really fast DDR5 running at 8000 megabits per second, right? Transfer speed. Um, 2000 megahertz RAM runs much lower tier EFI than 4000 megahertz RAM, simply put, right? And that can be kind of correlated to, let's say, or, or kind of contrasted to the size of the fuel tank. So let's say DRAM frequency, uh, so I'll say example. Double the fuel tank, basically, right? So basically, if you run 4,000 megahertz, you can literally run double the tier EFI because you're simply um, doing so many more clock cycles in a second that doubling tier EFI doesn't actually effectively um, compromise the, um, I guess you could say, the necessary or the adequate um, kind of acceptable. No, no, acceptable is the best way to put it because 65, 5 through 6 is acceptable. Right, it's kind of like up. Uh, it's it's high. It's really high. It's almost maxed out. Well, basically maxed out for um, most circumstances. Like I think these Samsung six can do a bit higher, maybe. Not really. They get really warm, so I would say this is a pretty safe limit for them. Um, but let's say you need an acceptable amount of uh, time between pit stops. You can't just keep racing and never pit stop, right? You can't do that. So just like with RAM, you can't just keep fucking doing work and never like never come and and try and refresh the cells, right? So you need to the cells must be refreshed eventually, right? So you need an acceptable amount of time. Um, given stress so given stress on the sticks or the car for example there needs to be a acceptable amount of time where you're going to eventually go and put stop and, and get this thing checked out to maintain it um it's functioning and yeah as a result literally you could think of it as like if the frequency is higher i.e if the, the the fuel tank is bigger you can literally run the car or the ram longer be between before uh, a pit stop is required so uh yeah so let's say that, yeah, that's pretty much one-to-one. -one. There's no real need to elaborate further. Um, yeah, so I'm going to make one more note and say you can literally...
But again, now think about it. Um, think about it logically. The fuel tank was bigger anyway, so it means tier FC was higher. So as you can as you can assume, as tier FC increases, tier of I can kind of also increase because you're you're um you're increasing the period of the refresh. So you kind of can like refresh le uh, refresh less frequently. Basically. Yeah, that's pretty pretty much it. I mean, I think that's a pretty good way of explaining it. Um, hopefully that was fun and uh, intuitive and hopefully it make, made sense. Um, but yeah, that's it.